So now what I'd like to do is add documents to the document manager that my client uploaded to the Files app in Caseware Cloud. So if you recall, when I was in the Files app for Caseware Zone, William Holden had uploaded some documents. And these are all documents that William has uploaded. If you look up at the top here, this is the file that I just published to the cloud, and we can tell by looking at the icon that it is in a smart sync session at this time. Now these documents are currently independent of the documents in my document manager, and when I bring these down to the document manager, they will remain independent. It will be a copy into my document manager. So one way to do that would be to download the document and then move it onto my document manager, but I've got a better way. So rather than opening the cloud in a separate browser, what I want to do is dock the document manager. And to do that, I'll just right click on the document manager tab and choose docking view. Now that option is also available under the window menu, docking view and Alt F7. And some of you may be familiar with that already. Now with the document manager docked, uh, some of you may have already noticed now, because it's the same file, it takes a moment to open up. It wants to double check. And that's what I was looking for right there. So with the integration with the cloud, I was expecting that button to show up immediately. I just had to refresh that by closing working papers and reopening that. Hopefully, that won't be an issue for you. So I've got the case for cloud button here. I want to dock the document manager. And then I'll click on the cloud button. Now, because I've already integrated under the tools, options, case for cloud, it's going to log me in with my user credentials to that case for cloud instance. Now, it took me to the timeline, but I really want to focus on the files. In the files area, we can see the files that the client has previously uploaded. And what I'd really like to do is bring the bank statement down to my document manager. So I'm going to put the bank statement underneath my cache lead sheet. So I've selected the bank statement. I selected where I want the document to be inserted. And on the Actions button, I'm going to choose to download that document. Now it gives me an option to add it to the document manager. I can open it directly. I can save it. I'm going to click the Add button. And immediately we get the new document link dialog from Working Papers with the information related to that document. Now I'm going to make this a roll forward as placeholder document because next year I want it there, but I just want it to be a placeholder. I don't want an actual copy of last year's document. So I'm going to click OK. And just like that, it is copied into the document manager. Now I stress the word copied because these are two separate copies at this point in time. It's that easy to get the copy into the document manager.